Hi everyone, welcome to He Said, She Said. I'm Renee. And I'm David. So as you may know, if you've been following us for a bit, we love to do DIY upcycling projects, but you know, in order to do that, we need materials. So today we're gonna to take a little road trip. We're gonna invite you to come along with us as we go to one of our favorite places to source some materials. Yes, road trip. So we're going to a place in Sherwood, Oregon. We probably haven't been there for a few years. Mm -hmm. They've got a broad spectrum of like new building materials, but also uh, reclaimed stuff as well. So it's always kind of a potluck eclectic mix of stuff and always an adventure. We don't know what we'll find, right. uh, so we will uncover it together. Let's get going. Sounds good. All right, let's do it. Okay. Hey, so welcome once again, friends. Uh, so today is road trip day, as we mentioned. So we, uh, when we do that, we go a little low tech where gear is concerned. So hopefully this is still watchable. Usually we use a little better camera and wireless mics and maybe even some extra lighting, but hopefully this is still, uh, watchable and enjoyable. We like to take you guys with us when we're doing, doing our thing. Um, so we are at just pulled in a place called BMR in Sherwood, Oregon. They do, um, well, they're kind of like a big lumber yard to a degree. They have plenty of like new construction materials, but they also do a lot of like uh, reclaimed uh, um, deconstruction uh, type stuff that they have in stock as well. And that's really half the fun, I think, is, is just because there's such a, a crazy variety and you never know what you'll, you never know what you're going to get. Yeah. Uh, so you've got some upcoming projects and maybe you're hoping to find some materials today for those. What have you got brewing and what are you hoping to, hoping to locate here? Yeah. So like Tabo said, we never know what we're going to find. I think the last time we came here was probably two years ago and I found those closet doors. If you watch that video of me outfitting the studio, the closet doors that I found that I turned into vertical shelves, I got here. here. Yeah. But when I, when we came that last time, that wasn't what I intended. But when I saw those, <laughs> like $6 a piece, I can use those. Right? right. So I'm trying to go into it with an open mind, like what inspires me to do something. But I do have, um, kind of a grocery list ish. Um, I have a dresser at home that I want to convert into a changing table dresser, toy station storage spectacular yes. <laughs> collaboration. So I have some ideas for what I want to do there. So some of the materials I need to create the box for the diaper changing pad and things like that. So I definitely need some materials for that. Um, a couple of other things that I'm looking to do some storage for my paint pots. Um, I want something creative there. So they have a lot of that, like, yes, doors and things like that. But sometimes they have odd assortments of things, crates and windows. I don't know. I'll, I figure I'll, I'll know it when I see it, but I'm looking for a creative way to store all of my paints. So kind of looking forward to just getting in there. They've got handles and knobs and hinges and all kinds of stuff. So I am eager to just get in there and see what kind of inspires me. So I have something in mind for this, this dresser conversion project, but also like, Hmm, I could do something with that. So how about you, David? Yeah. The, uh, the, the random, um, impulse things are, are sometimes <laughs> irresistible. I get that. Um, yeah. So I've got some projects in the wood shop. Now I, I promise at, at some point we'll get to a place where we're done like building out the shop and there's a handful of different built-ins that we've got in mind for in the house. Mm -hmm. uh, but I am still doing some workbench oriented this and that. So I've got this mega assembly table thing that I'm looking to build here really, really soon. Mm -hmm. And I want to skin the top of that in laminate for mica. Um, sometimes they've got a variety of uh, like surplus materials of that nature here. Uh, so I was, I was going to see what they've got of that nature. Um, also some uh, they have hardwood and softwood um, variety of like shorts and things that maybe are, are off cut size things mm -hmm. that you wouldn't necessarily find in other places, but yet it's still plenty usable for smaller projects. Uh, so I have, I have need of some of that sort of stuff too. Um, 
maybe one or two slabs of sheet goods of one kind or another for again mostly some of those workbench ish type right. projects uh, that are coming up uh, that are coming up soon and maybe projects that also include the maple kind <laughs> So if you're not familiar with that phrase, just do a search for the talking German shepherd and yeah. you'll see, you'll see. What YouTube David's... search, another video. Yes. Yeah. The maple kind? Yes. It's maple bacon or something is the reference. Yeah. Anyhow, but this place has racks and racks and racks of just like this with, I think every species under the sun. I mentioned that they have, they have shorts and offcuts, but they've got full length stuff as mm -hmm. well. That's like just, um, you know, 50 times better than Home Depot or whatever else if you're looking for different species of wood to do different projects. Super cool. Um, so when I'm when I'm pulling these out and, and looking at them before I, I load them up, you're like, well, they're all just boards, right? Well, um, the things I look for is, are, are they basically straight? Are they not twisted? Are there too many knots or like knots in the wrong places? Maybe even looking at the grain and just the, the cosmetics of it. If your application isn't that cosmetic mm -hmm. and you're just going to do not like a stain, but if you're going to do more of an opaque um, finish of some kind, the cosmetics don't matter as much. But that's that's what I'm looking for as I'm picking through all these different boards. Yeah, and so maybe um, in your area you have a place similar to this. I know Habitat for Humanity has some resource... Um, Similar kinds of stores. Yeah. We've got another place around here called the Rebuilders Center. Mm -hmm. So if you're not in striking wood of uh, Sherwood, Oregon, uh, you might look for something like that. That's got, you know, reclaimed type stuff that you can that you can repurpose for uh, for whatever your projects might be. Let us know if you've got some projects like that where it's like, you know what, I don't want to have to buy new. If I could reuse something that was maybe headed for a landfill, uh, let us know what kind of places are in your area that are your favorite uh, go-tos uh, for, uh, for this sort of thing. Yeah, absolutely. So we were looking at pine here, but I think we ended up putting the pine back, and we ended up with something else for your um, uh, dresser project. Um, you were thinking it was fir. I think it was hemlock, but uh, we'll have to go. We'll, we'll argue about that later. We'll taste it and see what it tastes right, like. Yeah. <laughs> What is it? It's a candy dispenser. Oh, okay. I need that. What else? <laughs> what else are you finding? Oh my gosh, all kinds of things. We've got fire sprinkler heads. We've got keys. Like cut you, keys already? If you lost your keys, here they are. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and then also I was looking at these. These are just corners. Mm hmm. I have a gap. Oh in my trim. I thought maybe these might work, but I need something yeah, a, a little, little wider. A little small. So. Yep. All right, and looking at all of this rough cut, these rough cut logs, slices, whatever they are, oh my goodness, beautiful species here. You know, I'm a little fancy for my paint pot storage project, but boy, beautiful. Great for mantles or some really beautiful tables. Um, don't have anything in mind for those right now, but really tempting. Yeah, and I think that's two or three steps up from my current skill set. Mm -hmm. uh, if I had a big slab like that, I kind of wouldn't know where to begin. But anyway, someday be yeah. fun. And that's mm -hmm. new. They didn't have that sort of thing the last time we were there. So um, kind of cool that that's a source for that sort of thing. Yeah. So now it's time to start loading up. And so David's back in the truck up here. You know, we already talked through a little bit about what we found here. But what I wanted to mention is next door to this place is the cat adoption team. And you might notice that we are not going to be loading any cats. We didn't bring a cat home. <laughs> but if you're looking for a cat, that's a great organization if you're looking to adopt a cat. But I, every I... time I threaten to get a barn cat and... Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, we never get one. Yeah, so we ended up with a, a sheet of the MDO plywood there. We got the two different uh, species of, of wood, maple and, and something undecided. Yeah. And uh, some some cheap paint brushes and just some other miscellaneous small items. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, headed headed. we ended up at Dave's Hot Chicken for lunch on the yeah, way home. That's pretty awesome. They're in Tualatin. Yeah, so I'll still be looking for something for my um, paint pot storage so i will find something i'm not came giving up, empty up. There, yeah. came up empty um but again 
most of the time we come away with things we didn't expect, but right. I think it was, it was still a fun outing, great to get out of town, and we do love this store. So these materials that we're loading up today are kind of a preview of things to come in terms of some of the uh, projects that we mm -hmm. both have on the calendar. Uh, and we will invite you to join us for those builds uh, so you'll, you'll uh, get a little bit more of a sense of um, what we picked up and exactly what we're, what we're going to be doing with it. So stay tuned uh, for that. All right, until next time, everyone, take care. Thanks for joining us on our little road trip today.